In this video, we're going over how to use split screen on the Samsung Galaxy A10e and Samsung Galaxy A20. Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the new smartphones that are launching and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap on the little bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram at HTTechVideos if you love the win cool tech stuff. Let's jump right in. I'm going to be demonstrating this on the Samsung Galaxy A20 just because the process is exactly the same for the A10e and the A20. So, split screen, here's how it works. You're going to, first, what you, you're going to want to open the two apps that you want to have open in split screen. So, the first one is going to be YouTube. I'm going to tap on YouTube, open it. I'm going to go home. And now I'm going to open up Gmail because I want that to be the second app that's open in split screen. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and then now close this app here, home. Okay. Look for the three bars at the bottom. It might be on the left side or it might be on the right. Basically your recent apps button. Tap on that. Now find the app that you want to be at the top of the screen. So I want YouTube. I want to have a video playing at the top while I have my Gmail at the bottom. So YouTube is the app I want to be at the top. I'm just going to hold down on the icon at the very top here. And I'm going to tap on open in split screen view. And then I'm going to find the app that I want to be open at the bottom, which is Gmail. So I'm going to tap on Gmail. Anywhere on Gmail is fine. And now I can come up here and hit play. This video is going to continue to play right here. And I'm going to be able to swipe through and use the Gmail app. So really quick, just an easy way to use split screen. I can also take the phone. I can rotate it sideways as well and continue to use the app over here. If you do have a video going, you may want to rotate it and have the video on the right side. Um, well, actually it didn't, it didn't help. I was trying to get away from the notch here, but uh, it is what it is. But you can rotate it either way and it will work. Now you might say, hey, what if I want to have different apps open? Well, no problem. So again, all you want to do is make sure that you have opened that app first and then close it. So this time, instead of having Gmail open, I'm going to have Chrome open. So I'm just going to open up Chrome, go home, go back to my recent apps button again, find YouTube, tap or hold down the icon, hit open in split screen view like this. And this time I'm going to go to Chrome. And now I can have a video playing again. There we go. And down here, I'm doing my research on Google Chrome at the same time. So really easy. I love this feature. I use it all the time because I love to watch YouTube and have videos going and I still want to be able to do other things. Now, quick disclaimer, um, every single app will not work in split screen. Only certain apps will work. So you may run into a couple where if you try to tap on it, it will say this app is not supported in split screen. So unfortunately, if you run into that, it kind of is what it is. But for the most part, a lot of the key apps will work in this function. Um, when you're finished, what you can do is pull down all the way. So again, in the middle, you're going to see a blue bar. And right in the middle of the blue bar is a little dash. You're going to just put your finger there and drag down. That will take you out of split screen. Now I want to show you one last important thing. So there is split screen, but there's another way you can multitask as well and have multiple apps running on the screen. And it's called pop up or pop out video. So if I were again to, let's just say I opened up YouTube because that's the app I want to use. And then I were to go home. Now I'm going to tap on recent apps again. I'm going to hold down the icon at the top again. But this time, instead of selecting open in split screen view, I'm going to tap open in pop up video. It's right under the split screen view option. Tap on that. And now I can have the video open in a pop up screen just like that. So you can have it on the screen here. And there's a little icon I can tap to minimize it, but still 
have that app on the screen. And let's say I wanted to have Chrome open in full screen, I could have it open in full screen and still tap on that icon as I wanted. Now you're probably saying to yourself, this really isn't that clean, this is kind of big and bulky. Well, there's one more thing you can do as well. So I'm gonna go back to YouTube again. It's open in full screen. Now, here's the tip to have the video opened a little bit smaller and in a, in a better look. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna play this video right here. Now, here's the thing. Make sure the video is playing. Make sure it's not paused. That's the only thing you have to do. So video is playing. I'm gonna just hit the home button. And if you hit the home button, it will then shrink the video and you'll just see the video on the screen and not all the other elements of YouTube. To me, this is a lot cleaner. And if I decide to go back to Chrome and do other things, I can move this wherever I want. Oh, it went away. Normally, it'll stay on the screen. You can kind of just move it wherever you want while you continue to use YouTube. So let's try it one more time. It's there, go down. And then I can again have my screen going and doing other things. And I can move this here, here, down to the corner or there it's always gonna stay either on the right or left side. So that's just another way to use multitasking. And this also works with Netflix. It should work with Hulu as well. It works with a lot of the video streaming apps. So you may find that like Hulu may not allow you to use the full split screen mode, but you can have a video open in a pop-up screen just like that, all right? Hope you guys did find this helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll get to it. Um, wanted to make sure you guys know how to use this feature because it's just a fun feature and it really enhances your experience on the Samsung Galaxy A20 and the Samsung A10e. Uh, hit that like button if it was helpful, favorite it and share it, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care and have a good one.